a quarantine is when people have been exposed to a disease, perhaps. They'll generally put a sign on your house if, if uh, you have a communicable disease. You're basically away from certain things. Like extreme seclusion. Kind of locked in your house, basically. Quarantine is an effective public health tool, and it's especially important when we don't have other tools to combat a certain disease. Quarantine is used for separating people who are not yet ill, but who have been exposed to an infectious disease from others who have not yet been exposed. When someone's been exposed to an important, serious, contagious disease, there are several options. For instance, if you were on a plane or in a building that had a report of a contagious disease, you could be delayed a few hours, examined by a medical doctor, and then allowed to leave after providing your contact information. You could be quarantined for a short time in a facility where you can be given a vaccine or preventative treatment, or be kept for the entire incubation period of the disease, monitored and cared for. Right in, okay? Okay. You also could be asked to stay at home, limiting your contact with others. In rare instances, a large-scale quarantine could involve home curfews, the cancellation of public gatherings, and the closure of mass transit. In the modern era, we place much more emphasis on providing support and medical care for those in quarantine, making sure they get what they need so that they can stay in quarantine, and making sure they get the medical care that they need if they become ill. If a person starts to exhibit symptoms of a serious contagious disease, they may be isolated. Quarantine can usually be done in the home, whereas isolation is usually done in the hospital where the ill person can receive medical care. Neither a quarantine nor isolation may ever happen to us, but it's something we should all be prepared for. We need to talk about quarantine because we may need to use it given the new types of infectious disease threats that we have in the modern society. We also need to talk about quarantine because the more people understand about it, the better able they are to cooperate with it and the more effective it will be. It may not be easy to be in quarantine, but it's very important to help protect the health of you, your family, and your community. To access the most accurate and relevant health information that affects you, your family, and your community, please visit www.cdc.gov.